from Detroit. I'm Eric. I'm Tan. And today we're going to be talking about why influencers are the new brands. Stay tuned. Today we're going to be talking about how influencers are really brands in themselves and how this is going to affect how marketers should work with them when it comes to influencer marketing. Or just the way they even think about them. Yeah, just their... we're just going to put you in a whole new headspace. <laughs> <laughs> Done. So do you agree, Eric, that influencers are now brands in themselves? I do. And the, the way I define that, the way I visualize what you're saying, um, and tell me if you agree with this. If you have a different vision, I'm, I'd love to hear that, that they have a, I think influencers now, YouTubers, Instagrammers, they have a, they have an image, a, um, an existence, a, a horizon of identity that extends beyond just their personal, just beyond their personalities, beyond how they are on camera. It, it ex it's more expansive than that, and you have to think of them as that larger entity because you're not just looking to see if the brand that you're working with is going to, if they're going to fit with this personality and if they're going to like it. It's, is the brand, is your client's brand going to actually work with the brand of the influencer? It's not just a personality fit. It's, it's a larger thing than that. Is that along the lines of what? Yeah, and I'm also just sort of thinking of, about like, in terms of if thinking about if you're a brand who's coming into this space and wants to work with an influencer, like thinking from the influencer's perspective is extremely helpful. And so yeah. now influencers, I mean, we're, YouTube has been around since what, 2006? So it's been around for over 10 years. And the people who are YouTube influencers at this point have watched 10 years worth of content and are not coming into this space kind of just as somebody who's picking up a camera and hitting record and having you follow around their day-to-day -day life. They're coming into this space saying, a lot of them anyway are coming to this space saying, okay, being an influencer is my business model. And at the very least, this is my brand or I'm gonna build a brand around a personality. And that's not to say it's not genuine and authentic. I think it really is and that's why it's a great business for people who are content creators, but it is to say that like they're coming into this with a pretty large level of intentionality. And so they're thinking like, what are the brands that I should be working with yeah. who will give me legitimacy, who will build me up, who makes sense for me and my audience. And this is really nothing new in terms of the kind of stuff that we talk about on Thinking Out Loud all the time. But it is something of a perspective shift, I think, in order to like putting yourself in the shoes of these influencers who are thinking like maybe it's maybe their ultimate goal is to, you know, start an apparel line and, and their YouTube channel is a vehicle for them to do that or, you know, to create a lifestyle brand that's larger than just like yeah. this content. Um, and and getting to know that and learning that about the influencers, yeah. learning what their ultimate goal is, what, where they're drawing those boundaries and where they're putting their energies. And that, that's really important. Like you said in the beginning, getting in the mind, getting in the mindset and thinking about it like an influencer and how the influencers think. But um, you, said, you said something about, of course they are authentic. Of course they are genuine. Yeah. And so we've been, we've been we dancing with this and th we're going to talk about this in a, in a future thinking out loud, but a, uh, there's a larger discussion in regards to like uh, the artificial influencer now and, and what that does to the conceptual framework of, of just the whole dialogue of authenticity or what we're expecting these influencers to be. But we're going to talk about that at a later date, not today. But what is interesting is, yes, they are authentic. And the ones, the ones that can be more authentic and let more authenticity through, I think, are more successful, um, especially when, when, talk, when doing an integration um, and endorsing a product. 
if if it's canned and it's nobody oh this is a great product you should try it this, this is a that's why we always try to suss out if there's a real affinity for a product because that enthusiasm really does come across but the the thing i want to talk about is that yes they are genuine but we all have to keep in mind that these are media properties they are brands right. they are being packaged they are packaging the way they are presenting themselves um and to your point which is a great one is like yeah they're looking back at 10 years of people yeah. doing that which is changing the expectation we've talked about production value and the expectation now right. or style you know like have you seen have you seen the ones where the instagram pictures you can like you can like overlap different Instagram pictures because everyone's doing yeah, the same kind of picture exactly and like you can't same. tell them apart anymore. Anyway, you're completely right. I completely agree. That's my takeaway that they are brands, they are media properties, and the more the more our clients can can understand that and the better we can help them understand that and help understand where that brand wants to go or what that brand, the zeitgeist of that brand is the better they can see how the brands are gonna to merge together. Definitely. And it'll be more successful. Yeah, I agree. I think with that, we'll leave you with the thought that when you're approaching influencer marketing, uh, something to think about and a question to ask in any influencer you work with is, what is your goal for this content that you're creating? What is your goal for this YouTube channel or your Instagram or like, why do you do what you do? And you might uncover some surprising things and interesting things, but ultimately asking that question and getting in the influencer headspace um, of influencer as a brand will really help you get the most out of, out of working with that influencer and promote your brand most effectively. If that's not the best little bow on a video, I don't know what is. So goodbye from Detroit. <laughs>